Hey everyone, it's KitKat. Now, um, I was supposed to do a vlog on Sunday after my date last weekend, but I did do the vlog, but um, apparently um, my phone decided to do everything upside down. I don't know how I managed to do that, but um, it was my phone. I didn't like the format or the setup of it. Everything was like literally my face was here, but it was like upside down and I just, I don't, at that point I just, I was like, I'll, I'll change it. I'll, I wanted to redo the video, but I ended up not doing it because I got super busy and whatnot, but yeah now I hope um, I think I have fixed my phone to a certain point um, so hopefully the video doesn't show me upside down like the last time with that being said um, if you have followed my um, vlogs as of recently um, the latest vlog uh, the last vlog that I had was uh, in preparation for the date that I went on and uh, don't get me wrong date was good guy was good he came to pick me up um, we he came to pick me up at work and um, which was awesome um, was he my type? Not necessarily because I usually fall for dark haired, you know, brown eyes, dark hair, you know, type people. Well, that was, that was loud. Um, and, uh, he's, you know, this, this guy is, you know, light hair, blue eyed, kind of like a ginger which I don't judge I you know he asked me out he paid for everything we went to the house so I could change it was awesome we went to we went out shopping uh, grabbed dinner um, all in all it was a really nice date some things that he said to me I kind of just you know at the moment it was like oh okay I'll think about it later you know some things were said um and stuff like that and then you know usually the first date you get um away with a lot of stuff like you let shit slide all the time um, that's how I am. I don't necessarily think about shit until I'm home and I'm able to meditate on it and stuff like that. That's just how I work. So, um, but it was fun. Um, it, it's not the red flags that you have to think about, uh, while you're on the date. It's the aftermath and how people act after the date and um the like I said the date itself was awesome there was no pressure we had fun um interesting conversations that made me think later um perfect example uh was we were driving around and um unprovoked uh, he's like, oh yeah, if you're thinking about um, having kids, if we ever get to that point, I don't want anymore. And I, you know, that kind of hurt my feelings because without knowing, um, that kind of hurt my feelings because I actually want to have kids, you know, at least another child. And so... I let it go because I thought that it was, I'm just um, internalizing it too much. And then it just, you know, some some things that he said, 
you know, at the time didn't really bother me, but it didn't settle well within my heart. Like, all of the stuff that he said that I didn't like became really heavy within my heart. That's not a strike against anybody. That's just how I am. I let shit go and then I think about it later. That's how I roll. Um, and, uh, you know, we did all of the cutesy stuff. Hold hands. I let him hug me. Um, you know, because he was really adamant about um, hugging me. I'm not, to tell you the truth, I'm not a hugger. Uh, given my track record and given my background, um, I, I just don't like hugging. And I let him hug me because I knew that would make him feel better. So I did it. Um, and I realized after the date that it just made me uncomfortable. So I was like, well, you know, once I thought about it, I was like, you know what? If it really is driving me this nuts, I'll just, you know, put it as a boundary and, you know, that there's no uh, hugging at this time because of personal reasons. And um, I didn't know that that was a no-no. Um, yeah, like I said, it wasn't until after the date that everything started, you know, that little hiccups were uh, coming up. Like, I mentioned something about, you know, what he said about kids, and he's like, uh, backtracked, you know, oh, well, I lied, you know, oh, you want kids? I lied, I'm sorry, blah, 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 and it's like, well, you don't necessarily have to lie about that shit, you know, if you don't want kids, you don't want kids, I totally understand, but it, every, like, rebuttal of what I was saying to him felt like I was being attacked, and like, my, my feeling towards, uh, him or the date or about us didn't matter. Oh, you want to put a, you know, I said something about, uh, putting the boundary up for like no hugging because he asked me if he could hug me this time or the, uh, the next date and I said I'm sorry I don't feel comfortable um I'm sorry but no before I could even uh get the explanation out as to why I didn't want a hug I got a four pa uh four page yeah four paragraphs of yeah everything every time that I put a boundary down or I told him I didn't like something about him, um, I was immediately in the wrong in his eyes. Well, you need, yeah, if I have to hear another, you know, him say to me one more time, well, maybe it's a you thing and not me. Like, he was whining that I didn't call him. Like, he was really adamant that I should call him and I was like well if you really wanted to call me you can call me but I'm not to tell you the truth I'm not a really big caller I'm more of a texter like I don't need to call you all the time you know you're not my man we're just dating and I think what it really boils down to is um, between the both of us, we have two different well-established meanings of the word dating. You know, my thing, it, my version of dating is I get to hang out with you for a little bit, you know, get to know you. I'm in the know you phase, you know, and, you know pros, cons, do all of that good stuff, and, you know, if you, 
if we have stuff in common, that's awesome. But if we need to work on stuff, you know, I don't feel like I have to change everything. Um, and uh, his way of doing it is like, you know, I think in his mind, he's already set. You know, the dude is 45 years old. You know, he said in his ways, oh, I'm a man. I'm a good guy. I don't have to change for anybody. And that behavior kind of scares me because, and to tell you the truth, the last couple of days has been kind of scary because, you know, almost to the point where I want to cry and I don't want to see this guy. And I wouldn't say it like that if I hadn't gotten the text message after uh, early this morning, like when I got up. Um, yesterday was really hard for us because I wanted to hash out some stuff. I was like, yo, um, he basically asked me, where am I in your world? And I was like, well, you know, I tried everything. I was like, is there a way that you can give me time? I need time to process how I feel about you. Well, that wasn't good enough. Well, you shouldn't have to think about me like that. If you actually cared about me, you wouldn't have to, you know, have time. I want you here and all of that stuff. Like, I'm all down for sacrifices, but if I am not being heard, <laughs> I'm not going to do it. Like, he was whining, again, he was whining, uh, he's like, well, we haven't talked on the phone. Um, why, why can't we talk on the phone? Well, in all honesty, the last couple of times that I was on the phone with this guy, all he ever did was talk over me. Like, you know, by the time I am in the conversation, I, all I'm doing is, uh-huh, uh-huh, oh no, uh-huh, uh-huh, I don't want that. Like, anything that, you know, I felt overshadowed. And every time that I do have a thought or I do have um, something going on. And I'm not just saying this because I know the first person that's going to see this fucking video is the dude that I'm talking about. Which, that is kind of scary. <laughs> but this is just me being real. And, like, the whole, you know, putting up boundaries, you know... The whole putting a boundary down because I don't want to hug you on the, you know, I don't want to hug you right now. It wasn't the act itself. The hug was fine. It was the way that he acted afterwards. What he said to me and made the weird comment about my boobs touching him. Like, it really, yeah, it was really weird and you know uncalled for like it it literally you know just sent me the wrong way and I'm sorry if it made me sound like a bitch or whatnot but sometimes you know putting a healthy boundary like that like, hey, I don't want to hug you, it does not mean that I don't want to, you know, that I'm closed off, I'm thinking about my ex. First of all, <laughs> you need to stop, yeah, the dude actually needed to stop talking about my past. Every, like, negative thing or every, you know, every time that I said something that he should work on, it's like, you know, he would retort to saying, oh, you need to get out of the past. You need to let go. You need to let go, girl. I'm not the issue. I'm this. I'm like, if I really, first of all, dude, if I really needed to listen to all of this, I would have gone back to my ex because he was really good at lecturing me about letting go of the past. 
Second of all, I have done way too much therapy and working on myself to listen to this garbage. Like, if you wanted a sign as to whether we should have a second date today, come a little bit closer. I don't want to date you. If I feel this way and I, like seriously, I'm about ready to like beat a bitch up. Like, I don't care if you're six four and maybe a hundred and fifty pounds with a quote unquote dad bod. Yeah, right. You need to eat like six cheeseburgers in order to have a dad bod. Ugh. Um if I really wanted this in my life, I would continue. Um, I had said something on Facebook because uh, yesterday, like I said, was a doozy of the day. Hold on, I'm, I gotta get coffee. <laughs> Oof, sun was in my eyes. Um, I, it was a doozy of a day. Um, and... Uh, because, you know, we, I really wanted to discuss it, but I didn't want to go on the phone. I didn't want to call him because, again, I wouldn't have been able to talk to him because he overpowers everything um, while he's over the phone. Like, the dude screams in my ear. Like, that's not sexy. That's, no. Like... But, you know, it was, I don't know where it all went wrong. I think it's because he opened his mouth and was like, I'm 45 years old. I don't give a shit. It shows. Like, dude, I, like I said, I've been through so much therapy to get past the whole you're living in the past and you're thinking about your ex. No, dear. I compared your guys' behavior, not you two in general. I, it was the behavior that you threw at me, not... Yeah, my ex was complete trash. If I, I'm not comparing you to him in that regard. So I'm comparing your behavior like it it's bad and I'm sorry that um you don't understand but I really don't need you like I'm using this platform I've I've been having this platform for almost two years and it's pretty sad that I have to you know the only way that I can communicate and probably get my, uh, my words across without, you know, sounding like a dick over the phone is making a vlog. But, yeah, I, yeah, and if it wasn't for the text message that I got this morning, like I said, uh, where he's like, well, I'm a good guy. I don't think that it's me. Maybe it's you. That just goes to show that you weren't listening to me at all. And I think we're done with the whole talking. Because if I have to hear you say one more time about me moving forward from my past, you're just digging your own grave. And I hope you have the day that you deserve. Because, yeah, you deserve it. Yeah, I don't think you uh, deserve to have a good woman like me. Especially a healthy relationship if you are only going to tell me that I'm wrong. Um, and by the way, boundaries are a healthy thing. If a woman doesn't have boundaries, she doesn't care about herself. And she's more likely to have cooties. So, yeah, have fun with that. Um, but again, like I said, I'm not angry. It's just really annoying because, um, the whole tempo of this vlog is the whole tempo. Ooh, 
hold, hold on, the coffee went down the wrong tube. Uh, the whole tempo of this vlog was the same tempo that I had to deal with yesterday. Like we, yeah, every time that I said, I don't know how many times I said, can we just be friends for the moment? Um, in his eyes, it meant that we were done. I'm like, no. For me, when I say, can we just be friends? It means that I have to feel comfortable around you. And at that moment, I don't feel comfortable. Um, yeah, I think right now I feel hurt because when I speak my truth, and this is what hurts because I don't want to see the guy today at all because I'm crying. Um, if my truth is making you uh, tell me, oh, you need to get past your ex, you're not listening. I need someone who listens. And stop telling me that I'm a red flag because I'm putting down boundaries. You say that you respect the boundaries, but you don't really understand them because you don't give me a chance to explain to you why. And I think that is the biggest issue that I have with this dude is I never got to ex fully explain why I have the boundaries down. Well, you didn't, you let me do this on our first date. You let me do that on our first date. Why are you backtracking? Because I don't feel fucking comfortable with you, fuckface. Is that a big enough sign for you? Like, I know you are watching this video. And I hope to God that I have cleared stuff up. Like, I'm to the point where I'm just pissed off and I don't want to go out with anybody right now like I if if yeah yesterday I'm sorry I'm like speechless right now but yesterday it was really hard for me because um granted I did not call him on the phone we were texting and while I was texting him every like response I got I was literally like screaming at my phone you don't fucking get it like if I'm screaming at my phone and you know I mean I worried my sister was worried about me she she was like you know what you should just block him you know, everybody is telling me to block you, you know, I don't need this. So if you're watching the video, be warned, you're going to be blocked. And after the shit that you told me this morning about how I need to let go and stop comparing you to my ex, you need to change your behavior. That's what you need to do. Like, you're becoming a self-centered twat. And I think that's what rubbed me the wrong way. I don't really like doing vlogs this way, but as the title ensues, I got triggered. And I'm allowed, you know, I thought about it last night. I didn't really get a lot of sleep um, thinking about it. But in the end, I need peace and if talking to you means that I don't get any peace because you're just going to bring up oh well you need to get past your you know the past is in the past um then I don't know what to tell you like I know you say that you wanted 50-50, but if I have to change every fucking thing about myself so you can be like Mr. I don't have to, you know, I don't have to fix you type thing, like, it's not going to work. Like, I've already changed a lot. Like I said, I've already done the therapy sessions. I'm in a good headspace. I don't really need this energy around me. And 
again for the record <laughs> before I beat the living shit out of you because you know I I I'm sorry I'm not a violent person but it's really it really bugs me like I think it's the whole you need to change type vibe and I'm always perfect I don't need to change anything yes you have a job yes you have a car you have a place to live but it also shows that you haven't been in a relationship for four years it also shows that your wife you know you lost a wife you lost your family and so you are stuck in your ways i get that but if i put up yeah <clears throat> god i don't know what to say i'm so freaking angry like i'm frustrated and i'm angry <coughs> i don't get it like I've never been this way on a date, and I don't think I want to do this again. Like, mm. I really don't want to go on a date today. Like, I'm about ready to, like, smack him. So, if you, uh, and I know the guy that I'm talking about is watching this vlog, he's probably going to be the first five people that will watch this along with my best friend i let's not go out on a date i don't want to um i don't want a body count like i'm so fed up between the last couple of days and this morning's text i think because of this morning's text i think that's how this vlog turned out um it's just yeah i i think i'm going to go into work and start making bread and do what i need to do but that was the gist that was basically the the review on my date and the aftermath if i had known that all of these triggers were going to happen and you know the response that I was going to get from the guy just because I needed time and boundaries I don't think I would have gone out with them like even good guys have have you know a flag and word to the wise, I'm not a red flag. I just know what I want. And you're not it. I will see you guys, now that I did a formal rant, I will see you guys in the next vlog.